Thanks for logging on to MyFoxHurricane.com. I'm meteorologist Dave Osterberg. Climatology tells us in the month of June, of course, we've already seen it with that potential tropical cyclone. Now, Alex working its way through South Florida, that typically when storms do form in June, it's going to be in the Gulf. It's going to be in the Western Caribbean. Now, again, this is it's not always that way, but typically speaking, that's what we do. Here's a list of the 2022 Tropical Atlantic season names, and of course, we cross one off. We're one down, folks. Wouldn't that be great if that's the only one? But of course, we know it's going to be an above normal season. So Alex is done or just about done. Next name on the list would be Bonnie. Here's the satellite picture. This is it doesn't look like a traditional tropical storm, and it never really kind of was, I think, just in general. It took forever for it to really get that low level center, and it did. You know, Sunday morning, they named it Alex, so Tropical Storm Alex. Here is the island nation of Bermuda, which was getting Tropical Storm Force winds. Not a big deal for those folks. They get them a lot. But now look how fast this storm is just racing away as it moves into the North Atlantic. Winds are still technically at about 65 miles per hour, but it's beginning to weaken. It's beginning to be kind of just pulled apart a little bit by some of these hostile upper level winds. So I would expect by tomorrow we would be done even tracking this storm as it moves up into the North Atlantic. Elsewhere, quiet in the Gulf, quiet in the Western Caribbean. Again, that's our favorite spots in June, and the computer models keep it quiet for at least the next five to seven days. That's the way we like it. Thanks for logging on. Have yourself a great day.